safety nets are playing a vital role in prevention of fall incident in any industry safety nets are used as engineering control and secondary fall protection measure in all kind of industry in this particular video i'm going to talk about what are the global standards are there pertaining to safety nets we are going to talk about osha standard en european standard and british standards we are going to talk about eocw norms is codes so let's get started this video let's start with what are the osha standards pertaining to safety net osha 1926.105 talk about requirements of safety net in industries safety net shall be provided when workplace are more than 25 feet it means more than 7.6 meter height is there then only safety net should be provided means safety net shall be provided in the workplaces which are more than 7.6 meter in height the next context of osha talks about net shall be extended 8 feet it means 2.4 meter beyond the edge of the work surface where employees are exposed and shall be installed as clause under the work surface as practical but in no case more than 25 feet or 7.6 meter below such work surfaces the next contact of osha talk about 1926.105 d the mesh size of safety net shall not exceed 6 inch by 6 inch it means 150 mm by 150 mm all units shall accept it performance standard of 17500 foot pound or 77 kN minimum impact resistance edge rock shall provide a minimum breaking strength of 5000 pounds means 22 kN let's talk about the is code or indian standard for the safety net we are going to talk about is 11057 this standard prescribes the requirement of industrial safety nets made from man made fibers and designed to catch personal or debris or material requirements are specified for two types of safety net first one suitable for use of maximum duty height up to 6 meter second for a maximum duty height of 1 meter there are two types of safety nets one is handmade net second is machine made net which are also called as braided nets ropes used in safety nets are certified for IS 5375 and safety nets are made as per IS 11057 safety nets has been described in three layers first single layer net second double layer net third triple layer nets let's talk about the layers of the safety net the base layer of safety net is called as main net the purpose of main net is to arrest the fall of person secondary net the second layer of net is called secondary net or material or debris arrest net it is called as overlay containment net of sdpe material and uv stabilized blue net there is third layer net which is called as monofilament net it has to be uv stabilized net with welding grinding or splitter resistant of 120 gsm net shall be made with a square or diamond mesh and the length of the mesh side shall not be greater than 10 cm rope used in making of safety net shall conform to high strength polypropylene rope conforming to is 5375 of latest version the fibers of polypropylene rope should have ultraviolet stabilizer incorporated in it let's talk about the sizes of safety net there are two types of net are majorly available the general availability of safety net is 10 meter by 5 meter 10 meter is the length of the safety net and 5 meter is the width of the safety net 4 by 3 meter or is the minimum standard of safety net as per 11057 let's talk about three types of net which we have talked about cage net overhead net and vertical net let's talk about the specifications for safety cage net a border dia has to be 12 mm and cord rope has to be 12 mm tie cord at every 2.5 meter interval has to be and base layer net has to be with inner mesh rope size 4 mm the mesh size has to be 100 by 100 mm the overlay net has to be 25 by 25 mesh size and 2 mm mesh rope with double cord and it has to be provided with uv stabilized containment net the third layer net has to be a monofilament net uv stabilized net with splitter resistant of 120 gsm let's talk about the overhead net provided 
is a overhead production. The configuration of overnet has to be base layer, overlay net and third layer net. So the base layer specs are the border dia has to be 12mm, cord rope has to be 12mm, mesh size has to be 100 by 100mm and mesh, mesh rope dia has to be 8mm in size. The overlay net or the secondary net has to be with mesh size 25 by 25mm. The mesh rope dia has to be 2mm with double cord and the third net specs will be monofilament net with splatter resistant of 120 GSM. Let's talk about the specs of the vertical safety net. The border dia of vertical safety net has to be 12mm. The inner rope dia has to be 2mm with double cord and mesh size has to be 25 by 25mm. Let's talk about the BOCW norms. The BOCW 1998 rule number 41 talks about the overhead protection. The overhead protection is erected along the periphery of every building under construction which shall be of 15 meter or more in height when completed. Overhead protection shall not be less than 2 meter wide and shall be erected as height not more than 5 meter above the base of the building. And the outer rays of such overhead protection shall be 150 meter higher than the inner edge or shall be erected at an angle of not more than 20 degree or its horizontal sloping into the building. It means the slope of the overhead protection net has to be not more than 20 degree and height of this net should not be more than 5 meter from the base ground. Let's talk about the specs or the rules are defined for the cage net or cage net platform in building construction. The rule number 175 of BOCW norms talks about the cage platform requirements. Cage platform is not used for storage of material or as a working platform. Cage platform is at least 2 meter wide and is inclined so that the position of outer edge of such platform is 1500 mm higher than the inner edge. The open end of cage platform is properly fenced to the height not less than 1 meter. So far we have talked about the IS standard 11057. We have talked about the OSHA CFR 1926 requirement. We have talked about the BOCW 1998 rules for safety net. Let's talk about the European standard norms or British standard or European norm standards for safety net. EN 1263 is the European norm for safety net. EN 1263 part 1 is known for safety requirement and test matter of safety net. EN 1263 part 2 is known for safety requirement for the erection of safety nets. This guideline is for system S safety nets which are horizontally installed safety net with a continuous border of. Safety nets may be either knotted or knotless with a square or dotted arrangement. Let's talk about the safety net classification. BSEN 1263 part 1 lists four classes of safety net. The class A and class B describes the net's maximum energy absorption capacity that is how much energy it can absorb. It is measured in kilojoule. For example, class A type of net can have the energy absorption is 2.3 kilojoule. Class B has 4.4 kilojoule energy absorption capacity. There are two classes, classes 1 and classes 2 describe the mesh sizes. For example, class 1 known as 60 mm mesh size, class 2 known as 100 mm mesh size. There is a classification of nets according to energy absorption capacity and the mesh size which has been shown particular table. As per this particular table, there has been a description of classes, energy absorption, capacity in kilojoule and the mesh size. A and B denotes about the energy absorptions and class 1 and class 2 denotes about the mesh size. So if I talk about the A1, it means A is energy absorption capacity and 1 is the mesh size. So A1 means its energy absorption capacity is 2.3 and mesh size will be 60. A2 means A means energy absorption capacity which is 2.3 and mesh size which is 100. B1 means B is the energy absorption capacity which is 4.4 and 1 means 160 mm mesh size. B2. B means energy absorption capacity which is 4.4 for B class and 2 means 100 mm mesh size. Border rope. 
A border rope is a continuous rope passing through each mesh around the perimeter around the perimeter of safety nets. It should have minimum tensile strength of 30 kN. Mesh rope. Mesh rope should be made from at least three separate strands braided so that cannot unravel. Tie rope. Tie rope fastens the safety net to the structure element and or the anchor points or the structure being netted. They should have minimum tensile strength of 30 kN. Coupling rope. Coupling rope join safety net together when more than one net is needed to protect an area. They should have minimum tensile strength of 7.5 kN. Annual inspection of safety net as per EN1263. Safety net shall be tested every 12 months to ensure that they have not deteriorated through UV exposure and potential fail when used. Safety net shall be tested every 12 months to ensure that they have not deteriorated through UV exposure and potential fail when used. The pass label must be attached to the safety net. Sizes of the safety net BSEN 1263 Part 2 only applies to safety nets over 35 square meter in sizes and where the shorter side is at least 5 meter in size. If the full height is more than 2 meter, the safety net must be greater than 35 square meter including length and width have the shortest side of lit at least 5 meter and have a maximum fixing spacing of 2.5 meter full height of the safety net the full height is the distance a person will fail from the work platform onto the safety net a greater full height result in a greater full impact keep the full height as low as possible by installing safety net as close as practicably possible below the work platform. BSEN 1263 Part 2 allows a maximum fall height of 6 meter, but this applies only to nets that are more than 35 square meter in size. Within 2 meter of the safety net, outer edges, the fall height between the work platform and the net should be no more than 3 meters. This is because safety net cannot deflect as much at corners and edges. Sagging of the safety net. Net sagging or initial sag is the amount of deformation from the nets on weight. Net sag should be between 5% and 10% of the net's shortest side. Catching width. If a person trip when they are moving forward, they fall forward as well as downward. The distance they fall forward is affected by the height of the fall. That is, the higher the fall, the further the forward movement. Nets provided protection at the edge of the work platform must be wide enough to include the falling person's forward movement. The width of the net between the edge of the work platform and the outer edge of the safety net is called the catching width. In this particular table, it shows what is the maximum height versus minimum catching width as per BSEN 1263 part 2. If the maximum fall height is 1 meter, then catching width has to be 2 meter. If maximum fall height is 3 meter, then catching width has to be 2.5 meter. If maximum fall height is 6 meter, then catching width has to be 3 meter. Anchoring points. The maximum distance between anchor points according to BSEN 1263 part 2 has to be 2.5 meter. It means anchoring point has to be given at every alternate of 2.5 meter while fixing the safety net. This is how the anchoring point has to be given and this is the strength of the anchoring point, which is 6 kN. This is the MTC for the safety net, material test certificate for the safety net as per EN1263. Thanks for watching this video. If you really like the video, please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel.